Welcome to Succession Stories. I'm your host, Lori Barkman, CEO of Small.Big. As a strategic growth and M&A advisor, I like to call myself a business transition Sherpa. My mission is guiding entrepreneurs on ways to build value in your business and then to benefit by letting it go. On this show, we spotlight the theme of transitions, not only to reward you for your hard work, but also to ensure that you look back on your succession without regret. For more succession stories, be sure to subscribe and follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube. Here's to your success. I'm really excited for this episode of Succession Stories, because if you are a longtime listener, you'll know that most often on this show, I don't talk about myself as much as I like to spotlight my guests. But today's episode is different. I'm excited to share an announcement that I am partnered with an M&A firm. It's a new opportunity for me. It's a new opportunity for Small.Big and certainly for my clients. So today I'm being joined by Paul Vizoki. He is the president and founder of Stony Hill Advisors, and he's here with me to help make this announcement and talk about our partnership. So Paul, welcome. Thank you so much. It's a joy to begin working with you. We started talking a couple months back, and let me start with the fact that my business was started in Philadelphia in 2010, and I've been doing mergers and acquisition services in that marketplace, now starting to expand geographically. I'm originally a Pittsburgh native, so in our conversation, it made sense to uh, open up the potential for us to work together, and here we are today. Yeah, I love that you had approached me. It really got my wheels turning because my focus for the last, you know, two years has been working with business owners in the lower middle market on exit and value planning, strategic planning, and helping them find ways to maximize the value of their business, anticipating a business transition. And I think what was so awesome of how you approached me and said, hey, you know, Lori, if you join us and we partner, you can also then represent clients in the mergers and acquisitions process should they want to have that option to sell to a third party or if they're looking to buy another business. And the more we talked, the more I think we discovered this shared philosophy about the lower middle market, that there is a a really great opportunity there. And so this opportunity for us to collaborate was really exciting. And maybe you could just shed a little bit of light as to you know, why you approached me and what you think our collaboration will bring to clients in Western Pennsylvania. Well, the, the connection that we're both certified value builders, we both have the same viewpoint of business owners in the, in the lower middle market, roughly 5 million revenue to 50 million in revenue. They need some direction in order to exit their business at some point in the future and access the wealth they've created. And given that I'm in the same thought process, but I've taken it further and I actually provide the transaction services to help them make that change. And I thought you would be a perfect fit to also do that because it really supplements what you're already doing. And one of the things I liked about the firm and I do like about your firm is that the M&A advisors are business operators and people who have a lot of general business experience in certain industries. And I thought our processes really fit well together, starting with the consultative approach to understand with a, from a business owner, what's important to them? You know, Why do they want to transition? Where are they in this continuum if they're you know, a certain number of years out. And so where do you find the conversation typically starts with a business owner? How do you help them understand their own readiness, whether it's their personal readiness or, or business readiness? Interesting question. The conversation, it emanates from what is their goal? What do they see for their future? And then we take it in a couple of directions. We want to make sure the business is ready for transition to a new owner, whether it be within the family or to employees, but we also want to make sure that the business owner is ready personally to make a transition to some next gen, next life event, what they want to do next. So we work with business owners in that area because they're they're very integral to the business. And until so we can help them understand how they can make the business independent of themselves, they can't really sell. So that's that's integral to what we do. And it's been the foundation of my the mission I've been on. And we would call that exit value and transition planning because the value part is, I think, the growth part, which is how can we help a business owner maximize the potential 
And you were you were hinting at one thing that's really important, which is if the business can't survive without its owner, then it's not worth very much. Yes, it was certainly not worth very much to the next person. That's <laughs> but, right. Um, and the growth part is is really interesting to, to bring up because there's two ways you can make a business more valuable over time. One is to grow organically by continuing to, to add products, new markets, get more customers in your current market. But there's also the opportunity to make acquisitions of similar sized businesses and strategic opportunities to add to what you're doing through that process. So it, again, leads back to what we do on the buy side with our clients. We help them identify and negotiate and, and acquire other companies to make their business more valuable. One of the surveys that I have seen, which is from BEI, it's the business owner survey from 2019. One of the questions is, what's standing in the way of your exit? And the number one answer was need to improve the business. So I always talk about that as a great opportunity just to kind of get perspective because it just makes economic sense whether or not you anticipate selling in the next three to five years, which is a relatively short period of time, or the next 10 years, right? It just makes sense to work on the business, improve the business. And the future value of your company, the more that you can demonstrate its growth, its profitability is going to make it more attractive, again, if you're looking to, to sell. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about selling a business. What do you see, Paul, as some of the challenges that business owners are facing in today's environment? And why is it important to plan ahead? The challenges are, as we are just mentioned, is making the business independent of the owner. That's certainly one of the biggest challenges. Many times the business owner views that they built a business and they can do all these roles that they take for themselves better than anyone else. So that's hard to relinquish. That's a, that's a delegation that's not easy to do. And then secondly, it's, it's a cost factor because I have to hire somebody to do, to do what I'm doing. And so they don't do that regularly. Then the next part is the organized process of due diligence, preparation, looking at your customer base, making sure you have no serious customer concentrations where one customer leaves and your business is impacted by 20% or more, making sure that your documentation, your employee manuals, your benefits programs, and all those things are up to current standards so that, again, you can make the transition and the next owner can come in and take over. You're just basically, in a nutshell, de-risking the business for the next owner. And a good place to start, where would that be? I think a lot of times we assume maybe that we know what our business is worth because maybe we talk to a friend or maybe we've read some statistics out there, but there's a lot of different reasons why a company could be worth X or Y. So what do you recommend you know, for people who are thinking about selling? Does it start with a estimate of value? It does. And, and, and so even those thinking for selling now if you're looking to the future, what is your net worth? Your net worth is primarily in the company. So along your journey, you should be regularly getting a market valuation of what is your business worth now? You look at your stock market investments, you see if it goes up one day or the next, you never look at your business value and see if it's going up or down. And that's an important consideration in how you address the business. At the point where you're starting to think about your exit, you really should know is it going to meet your needs for your retirement purposes? And part of that's working back with through your financial advisors and making sure you understand how, how your lifestyle will be impacted if you were to sell and what is the business worth. And, and you're right. Most business owners don't understand the real value of the business either. They think it's too low or they sometimes more often think it's too high or they think it's worth more than it is. Right. And then that's something we can do for owners is to create a evaluation, an estimate of value and right. help them understand what it might be worth in the market before the process starts. Just a level set. You know, it makes sense yeah. to do that. So for companies that are wanting to grow beyond organic growth, that they're thinking about acquiring businesses. And I've had quite a few folks on my show who have talked about acquisitions they've done. And they're in the same sort of space, right? At this lower middle market. And it's a roll-up strategy in the services industry. For example, I've talked to several owners who have that mentality and they're always looking for good deals. Everybody's out there looking for the right deal. It's this magic. How do we find the right fit between the buyer and the seller? It's very competitive. So maybe you could talk about our process and how we offer guidance to both strategic and financial buyers. Very good question. You know, there are marketplaces for businesses that are for sale, but if you're shopping there, you know everybody's shopping there. The best opportunity 
is to find in business that's not on the market. And that's a that's a very detailed process, a very labor intensive process for for someone doing the running a business. So the best way to do that is to let us be the shepherd the process for you. And we'll engage with a business owner and it will make it a no risk process. There's no commitments, there's no retainers, no exclusivity. They just tell us what they're looking for. And in our daily process of talking with business owners, looking whether they're ready to sell or whatever, we'll identify for them, here's an opportunity. And uh, so that's a service we help them in the exit value process. We're building their value by helping them find these acquisitions. So Paul, I'm excited to be part of Stony Hill Advisors and representing the firm in Western Pennsylvania. And I certainly hope that people listening are going to want to learn more. You know, if you're listening and you want to learn more about us and what we are doing, you certainly can reach out to Paul or you can reach out to me. So Paul, do you want to share what is the best way to find you online? Our company's website is www.stonyhilladvisors.com. And Stony is S-T-O-N-Y, no E. Sometimes people will call me and say, I sent you an email. Did you get it? And they say, no, how do you spell Stony Hill? And they always have an E in it. <laughs> no E. We'll have to remember that. And certainly to find me, smalldotbig.com is my website. And we'll put those in the show links as always. And so last question for you, Paul, is if you have a favorite quote to share. Yeah, I do. It's interesting. This is attributed to Benjamin Franklin, and it applies to what we do. He's quoted as saying, failing to plan is planning to fail. That's a great quote for what we do. Paul, I am so thrilled that we're going to be working together. I'm thrilled for the value we're going to help bring to business owners and entrepreneurs in this area. And thanks so much for coming on the show and doing this announcement with me. It's my pleasure. And I'm, I welcome you to work with us. And we're looking for big things. My objective is for you to have a lucrative and successful succession. If you want to understand the value of your company today, the potential net proceeds of a transaction, and your financial needs after you leave the business, that's a great place to start. The sooner you understand these numbers, the more time you'll have to close the gap if there is one. Take the next step by requesting an initial meeting to begin planning for your business transition and strategic exit today. Request a call with me by visiting smalldotbig.com. That's smalldotbig.com. I look forward to speaking with you.